she's born with it. Maybe it's... Ugh, I already used this pun. Crap. Hi guys, it's Crystal and today I have the Chameleon Brocade or Brocade, I'm not sure how to say it yet, I think it's Brocade, series from Born Pretty. This is a four polish set of flakies in a clear polish suspension. Pretty much they are flaky toppers. We're going to start off with Dream Castle. This is the blue to purple one. I know I'm saying blue to purple one like you know what the others are yet. Uh, I'm an idiot. I had a lot of requests to try these because a bunch of people wanted to know if they apply just like flakies out of a jar do. So I figured, you know what, I'll see if I can get them. And my rep was like, these are new, you could swatch them. And I said, okay. And I got them and now I'm playing with them. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can actually tell from this, but they are a little thick when applying. I'm not sure if you can tell that here or in the final shots because this final shot is one layer of flakies and then a layer of top coat. So the top coat too could make it look a little thick. But next we have Heart of Ocean. As I was saying though, these are a little thick when applying them. It's not the flakies that are thick though, it's the actual clear polish they're suspended in is really kind of thick. So as you see me applying them, I am brushing them over the nail four, five, six times just to let all the flakies come off and to kind of pull off some of that extra buildup of the clear polish to make sure there's more flaky than polish going on. Now this one, Heart of Ocean, is my favorite. It's a blue to green flaky and it's so pretty. I, I don't even know why. And I know a lot of people are like, your favorite color is purple. Yeah, but I didn't like the blue to purple ones as much as I like these blue to green ones. Okay, guys? I can't help it. Next is Forest Secret. These and the last ones are so similar. They have such a mix of colors. They both have like green, gold, purple, orange, yellow, all kinds of shift in them that I almost couldn't tell them apart at first. I tested these first on swatch sticks and I almost couldn't tell these apart. The only thing I can tell that's really different is this one doesn't seem to have as deep a color intensity as the other one which you'll kind of see in the swatch picks at the end you know the still shots but again they're very 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 similar here you can really see that shift from green to the pinks and orange and purples in this one and this one had a lot of smaller flaky bits than the first two the first two had more large and medium ones the final one is roaring flame this one is the one I said is very very similar to the forest color and this also has smaller flaky bits. If you pause the video, go back, and you look at Heart of Ocean, or you look at the Dream one, you can see that they have bigger flaky bits, it seems, and these two have smaller and medium flaky bits. I don't know if that's intentional, or maybe that's just how my jar ended up, but I noticed it right away, and I was like, huh, that's neat. I don't know if it's intentional, but because the smaller flaky bits seem to really let you see more of the colors in these last two. Here you can see here as I'm brushing this on, what I'm talking about with the deeper color intensity. You're seeing that deeper kind of red and the deeper kind of purple on the nail already. And in the still shots, it comes out insanely. So for the final, you know, sake of testing, these are pretty much just like putting flakies on out of a jar. I mean, it's a lot less work than putting flakies on out of a jar to be able to put them on with just a topper. And if you sponge them on, you'll get the same look as if you applied flakies with like an eyeshadow brush or, you know, like a makeup sponge or anything else you'd normally do them with. So if you like that, snag them up. I hope this answers any questions anybody had about these and that all the people that asked me if I was going to swatch them are satisfied with this and it really solves any of your problems. This drag marble is not very exciting because you can't really tell the flakies apart. But, you know, I tried, guys. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more fun stuff and tutorials. And as usual, everything's in the description box. And I will see you guys next time.